Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back for another plan with me. Today we're going to be planning for the week of Monday, April 24th through Sunday, April 30th. And today I'm using this gorgeous spring fling kit by Nicole Alexia Designs. The colors in this kit are just absolutely perfect. And what got me on this was the bottom washi. I do have her mini kit today, so it only comes with four pages. So you'll see me pulling in some other things from other kits and just my own stash. But right now I'm just getting right on into my sidebar. I did put down the bottom washi and then I created some flags with the washi that came with the kit. I just folded the pieces of washi in half and then cut them on like an angle and it gives you a pretty decent flag if you don't have any flags in your kit. So I did put down the spring is in the air, full box up at the top. And then I pulled in the thinnest solid pieces of washi to create my separation throughout my sidebar. And then I'm just sticking down the habit tracker that came with the kit. I did realize that there were two so I put both down. I usually like to use two habit trackers in my sidebar if it does come with it. And then I'm pulling in this peachy thin strip of washi to create the next divide. You'll see I do a lot of pulling up and repositioning just to get everything as straight as possible. Um, but next I went in with a header and I grabbed the work header. And then I went in with that very light orange almost like tangerine shade um, ombre weekly box and put that down to track my work hours for the week and then I went in with the thinnest strip of that pink washi and then I pulled in a spending sticker for my sidebar um, I do end up just switching out the headers because the second ombre weekly box that came with the kit was also that blue color so I wanted some variety in my sidebar so I just end up swapping those out and I didn't have any ombre heart checklists for this sidebar so I did end up using the two weekly boxes that came with the kit. To close out my sidebar I chose the piece of washi that was very similar to the thicker strip of bottom washi and just put that down at the bottom to keep everything kind of consistent down there. And then moving on to Monday I started off with a to-do header. I like to get all my to-dos out of the way very early in the morning when I come in on Mondays. And then I put down my little things header for my full box section and then I'm such a spaz. I don't know if I just forgot I had purchased them or what but I totally had the heart checklists for this kit. I purchased them a la carte. And I don't know, I think they were hiding behind the sampler that came with the kit. So I ended up pulling in heart checklists from the leftovers that I had from the Little Miss Papery Easter kit. All the co colors ended up working out fine, um, but I was very upset that I realized I had them afterwards, but I'm sure I'll be able to pull them in to another kit at some point. So anyway, moving on to May Day on Monday, I put down a flag from the kit just to mark a new hire that was starting. I put down a pink one, but that ended up putting um, down a blue one because I had that pink cell phone icon down there um, and I just wanted some variety. So that pink cell phone icon is from Planning World and that was just to mark a call that I had to make. And then I put down a floral strip of washi and the laundry basket that came with the kit. My boyfriend and I were away the previous weekend and I just had some laundry to catch up on on Monday. And then I went in with my full box down at the bottom of the page and just filled everything out that I had to get done for Monday. I did just pop down a little icon on my skincare habit tracker. It's just the girl with the face mask. And then I added one more to do to my to-do list and that was to paint my nails because as you can tell they were just chipping and a hot mess. So I put down the little nail polish bottle that came with the kit. And now I'm just checking off all of the to-dos that I got done during my day and I also go ahead and fill in my sidebar a little bit. On Monday night, I just sat down and I took out a Shop Jessica Hart's little uh, appointment label to note that my mom had put an offer on a house. So I did just want to memory plan that. And then I started planning my day for Tuesday. I started off with a today header and a little paper clip sticker from the Fox and Pip to note a meeting I had in the morning. And then I went ahead and just put down my full box. I don't, I kind of went out of order here. Um, so I put down my header and my full box and then I put down my to-do header and my checklist as well. I didn't really have much going on on Tuesday so I just put down the little blow dryer that came with the kit to note that I needed to wash and dry my hair and then I left a little bit of space for some memory planning for whatever had popped up that day. I did end up being called into a meeting that was scheduled last minute so I put down a little thing to mark that and just layered a clock icon that came with the kit over that and then moving on to Wednesday I started off by putting down a full box and then I put down all the stickers I needed for my to-do section and then finally I did put down my today section at the bottom of my planner. 
And then I did have a couple of meetings scheduled that day, so I took this kind of half box size sticker and then I used these little arrows from Planner Gems. They're kind of like these crushed gem um, styled stickers and I took two of them to mark each of my meetings. I did plan on going to the gym that day, so I took the floral patterned washi and just layered the workout sticker over top of that. And finally for the end of my night, I put down a flag sticker because I ended up doing some meal prepping for my lunches for the end of the week. Now I'm just filling out my sidebar a bit and then I flip over to Thursday, put down the base of the day and then move on to my today section. I had a couple of more meetings planned for Thursday, so I took a Shop Jessica Hearts appointment label in the peach color and put that down to mark one of them. And then I had one in the afternoon, which I just took a strip of washi and put that down. And then I grabbed a star icon from one of the Mombi books and put that down just for a little something extra for that day. I ended up leaving the rest of the day blank for the night before because I knew my friend and I had talked about going out for drinks um, after work, but I didn't know if it was definitely going to happen, but it ended up happening. So I put down a half box and it did end up getting layered over the bottom washi a little bit, but that really didn't bother me. And then I took this wine glass and I layered it with a little icon from the kit. That um, wine glass is from a little paper print sampler and her sampler is so freaking cute cute. I really, really enjoyed using that little white wine glass. And then moving on to Friday, I put down a little thing and layered a foiled planning world icon over top of that to note that one of my staff members was out and I ended up covering for her. So I wanted to mark that in my planner. And then below that, I put down a strip of washi and a little camera icon because I filmed a collab video. It was the first collab that I had done and I did it with my life stuck on paper. Um, her real name is Amanda here on YouTube and she has an Instagram as well. I'll mark both of our videos down in the section below so you guys can check that out. Definitely check her channel out. She does really great playing with me's. Uh, but anyway, under that, I put down the relax sticker that came with the kit because I pretty much just laid around the rest of the night. And then I just put down the rest of the um, day for Friday, like my to-do section in my full box. And then I'm just flipping over to the other side and filling out some items in my sidebar. Saturday was kind of like my designated chore day, so I just put down a full box in the center and then put down the rest of my headers and a three heart checklist. I really just wanted to get caught up on laundry. Um, I had a bunch of whites I really wanted to clean, so I grabbed a laundry girl from Crafts by Towie. I thought the colors of the girl just really matched well with the kit and laundry is what I ended up doing most of the day, so I just put her down and then filled in my to-dos. I really wanted to take the day to sleep in, so so I ended up sleeping until 8.30, which is pretty good for me. Um, but that sleep in sticker is from my newest addiction. And I just layered it over a plain piece of washi from the kit. And then I needed to paint my nails. So that nail polish bottle is from Millie Bella Designs. And then my boyfriend and I had planned on doing something later that night. So I took the date night sticker that came with the kit and just layered it over top of that half box. We ended up grabbing drinks by the water, which was really nice. And then I didn't mean to put paint my nails on my to-do section. So I took a little piece of of plain sticker paper from the edges of one of the sheets and just wrote dishes on there because they ended up having to do the dishes anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm just interrupting this plan with me really quickly because I do have an announcement to make and it's something that I couldn't kind of just let slip on by for the rest of the video because it's something you would have definitely noticed, but I just wanted to come on here and say before I continue that I did get engaged on Sunday. I am so excited. I actually didn't get a chance to plan. I ran out of time on Saturday and I didn't get a chance to plan on Sunday. I meant to plan Sunday morning for the day, um, but my boyfriend was kind of like rushing me out the house and now I finally know why. But yeah, so I'm going to do some memory planning for this day. So it's going to be a little bit different than I had intended, but I just wanted to pop on considering you guys definitely would have noticed the extra hardware on my finger. Um, but I am so, so excited. I I can't wait to share my planning experience with you guys. Um, wedding planning, to be honest, is something I've kind of been knowing that I will have to do, would have had to do eventually, and kind of something I'm honestly dreading. So I'm hoping that planning it out with my Erin Condren is gonna make it a little bit fun. I'm just not looking forward to the stressfulness of it all, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of 
have fun with it and just take everything as it is. But I am so, so excited. Um, I did share on Instagram that I was engaged. I posted a picture of my ring. And just a sticker that I had put in the next week, which you guys, if you do follow me on Instagram, thank you so much for the sweet comments. You guys are so, so nice. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I can't say it enough. I've just been kind of like on cloud nine. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to jump right on into the plan with me and get to the engagement day. I started the day with a today header. I didn't really feel the need for any other type of headers for this day, but I did want to keep the separation between boxes, so I just used a couple of strips of washi to lay over the gray headers that came printed on the page, and then I just put down that last full box that came with the kit. And to signify that I kind of put some effort into my appearance this day, I put down that girl from the Fox and Pip, and I next I'm going in with a plain strip of washi and that pink play button from Shop Spencer and Jude. That was to mark my collab that I had done with my life stuck on paper. I'll link both of our videos in the bottom bar below so you can check that out. Underneath that last header, I put down a half box and some balloons from Little Miss Paper Read to mark the engagement. I didn't have anything to signify an engagement because I honestly wasn't expecting it. So I thought balloons were a good option. And then below that, I put down a foiled flag and heart icon from Leftovers from a Planning World monthly kit. And I just used that to mark exactly what we did. If you want some detail about the day itself, let me know and I can go into it in my next video. But finally, I just wrapped up the spread by filling out my sidebar, and that was pretty much it. I really enjoyed using this kit. I thought it was beautiful. I'm so happy I got to use it to mark the week that I got engaged. I am so, so excited, guys. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye-bye.